And are you refreshed? Yes. Good. Now what? Thank you for having me. Yeah. So my question has to do about mental health. When people are depressed, how, they, how do they align themselves correctly and get out of things like depression and things like schizophrenia? Can you put the emotional scale on the screen? If you have a card, one of these, so take a look at it. Depression, where is it? So the emotional scale, we've marked 22 stops on it. And the most disconnected is number 22. Have you ever seen this before? No. So 22, see that's where fear and depression, despair, powerlessness are. And that's the furthest from your inner being that you can be. In other words, your inner being's up here in all of these good feeling places. And so what that depression is, it's something that you have a habit of focusing on that has you pinched off from your true resources. So that's why you're depressed because you're not flowing. And so what you do about it is you try to find the best feeling thought that you can find. But most people don't know that because most people don't know that there's a vibrational universe and that they are vibration. They know when they're happy and they know when they're not. But most people can't quite make the association between what's causing what. You can sort of kind of connect the dots. But most people believe that the circumstances that they are living are unchangeable or that the people that have the power to change them aren't changing them and because they haven't accepted their ability even you might call it their responsibility to adjust their own vibration they don't do it and then the law of attraction just brings them more of the same until they begin to really feel defeated because they see others may be living better but not them so that's where someone like you or someone like Esther or so many people in this room come in where you don't try to change the circumstances of their life in order to help them to feel better. You demonstrate to the power of your own example how you help yourself feel better. We've been saying to parents for a long time or anyone who wants to mentor anyone, when you're in a bad mood, own it and say, I'm in a bad mood that's not gonna get me anywhere to whoever's in the room excuse me I'm gonna go off I'm gonna do whatever I can do to get feeling better maybe I'm gonna put my feet in the pool maybe I'm gonna wade in some water in a ditch maybe I'm gonna take a nap I'm gonna do something to change my focus and see if I can't get feeling better and when you do and you feel better then you re-enter the room and it's obvious that you went in there and you did something different and now you are different and so if you're in a state of depression which is 22 really close to that is guilt and unworthiness jealousy is not too far from that rage we recommend rage well, the reason we recommend it is because it's a practice go-to. It sure feels better than depression and powerlessness. You gotta admit it, don't you? Have you ever just been furious about something? Wouldn't you rather just be furious than afraid when you think about it? So there are a lot of people that would say, oh no, 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 don't go there. We say, go there, go there. Self-interest matters. They don't want you to go there because they don't want you to take your rage out on them or even more revenge we like revenge even better than rage <laughs> because now you're getting some of your power back a little bit we don't really encourage you to take the action just think the thoughts for a little while about <laughs> Esther's sister said about Esther that when they were little that Esther said you just wait till I get big and you get little that was Esther's form of you just wait till I get big and you get little you are sort of getting the sense of what because if we were to ask you to go from despair or depression or powerlessness to joy first of all you're nowhere near joy you couldn't find that but you could find something that feels a little better and feels a little, and so our encouragement is reach for the best feeling thought that you can find and when you find it notice that you feel better 
and be glad that you focused and that you accomplished that. And it's our promise to you, you can work your way out of anything. So with that in mind, what do we, or how can we help people that are perhaps in a worse state, for example, have schizophrenia or like bipolar and they're really, really struggling? Well, what can we do to words, help them? So you be that person for a minute and we would say to you, everyone's bipolar because everyone has an inner being who is in ecstasy and love and everyone pinches themselves off from it which is agony and defeat now maybe you don't have those strong shifts but every subject is really two subjects wanted and absence of it it's just the way that it is and when you understand that every subject is two subjects and maybe you can't move from depression to joy but you sure could move from contentment to hopefulness and from hopefulness to optimism in other words it gets easier and easier as you move up the scale just play with this for a little bit let's say that you are in true depression and depression is on one end of the stick as terrible as you can feel and on the other end because your inner being's all the way over there in joy but your inner being isn't going to present to you a scenario to take you all the way to joy you're not even in the vibrational vicinity of it the law of attraction is not going to bring you to anything close to that but your inner being could help you to focus on worthiness and that's an improvement so your inner being could actually focus with you on why you don't like yourself and you could remember for a little bit that you had somebody barking at you all the time when you were little about how you didn't count for anything and that if you keep going like that you're not going to make anything happen and somebody just kind of after you all the time so now it's an improvement maybe too slight to be noticed but it is a vibrational improvement and once you get there now your inner being is going to offer you a thought about jealousy look at that person they clearly had a better home life than I did it's not fair well it's not joy it's not contentment but it sure feels better than that depression that you were feeling not long before your inner being knows where you are your inner being always knows where you are in relationship to where you really want to be and it's always calling you to the next logical step to the path of least resistance so now you're in jealousy not a pretty look but it's valid and you're justified your life sucks and theirs doesn't in other words that's how you feel as you're focusing in this moment so now there's hatred I hate that that happened to me and not to them and then Esther's game when I get rich and you get poor feels better it feels better and can you feel how since there's no judgment about the rightness or the wrongness of these emotions that these emotions are valid accurate indicators of your vibrational point of attraction which is everything it's what we've been talking about all day today yours and everybody else's point of attraction so on up to discouragement and blame and worry and we know it's a bit of a slow slog but think about this your inner being knows where you whoever you are is in relationship to who you really are and how you really get to be and your inner being knows of all the people around you you know these bags of marbles that we've been talking about knows where your bag of marbles is and knows a person in your vicinity that is holding the bag of marbles that is next up on the emotional scale and there's going to be a rendezvous and somebody's going to say something that is certainly not sunshine and roses but wouldn't you just love to have a conversation about somebody who was in the revenge mode if you felt powerless couldn't you really get into that just a little bit really haven't you been there haven't you been that for somebody else all right so 
now back to your question ask your question as you're talking about someone who's who's what I was speaking about people that have severe mental disabilities for example schizophrenia who are so, very medicated and unable perhaps to well that's another dig subject. themselves out that's another subject medication gets in the way of your guidance system if you're medicated you can't feel your incremental improvement but a world who is not really catering to your self-interest schizophrenic person is catering to their own you're easier to handle when you're drugged teachers would rather their students be drugged than interested in something other than what's going on in the classroom isn't it sort of what's going on this is why everything is about self and so what we would say if we were interacting give us a scenario do you know someone like this yes I have a, a very best friend then give us a scenario give us a little slice of it and we'll be you and we'll engage with them okay um, one of my very good friends she's very very depressed um, clinically depressed and been on drugs since she was 20 and now she's 40 now stop for just a moment and think about very depressed so this is your marble in your bag about her that's gonna get you nowhere you said clinically depressed that means it's validated <laughs> there's probably a certificate somewhere that validates that seriousness which justifies why you believe it so much but what if she's just somebody on the emotional scale that has the ability to move up and she does everyone does so now give us a scenario you're engaged and what's it like um, well oh wait before you went there before you went to see her you gathered some marbles you thought about her is she ever fun she is fun pick that marble up and put it in your bag and activate in your mind things that she does that are fun or funny and get that going in you get those juices flowing that could be enough you see you can't think about that and that at the same time what you're thinking about is fun can you remember something that was fun or funny that she did absolutely tell us uh, we were standing she was on a roof and I was standing on a ladder and she's much taller than me and I couldn't reach so she grabbed me Ooh, she grabbed me and mom grabbed me and pulled me onto the roof so not only is she fun she's brave mm -hmm. and not only is she brave she cares about you mm -hmm. so now you got three really good marbles in your bag and she's strong and she has good balance and good motor skills and she's trustworthy she could have thrown you off the cliff oh my goodness now look at all those marbles that you've got activated and now play that over in your mind a little bit and think about it and tell the story to others all this time and let that be the story that you think of and the story that you tell for just a little while and then go and engage with her and watch what happens because you will do for her what Jerry did for Esther you've activated something specifically significantly improved from the way she normally saw herself discover your power in that it works we're not kidding you it works now is it your job to gather marbles and go visit her and gather marbles and go visit her and gather marbles and go visit her no but it's your job to align with your inner being and so if you're gonna think about her you darn well want to have the right marbles in your bag if you're gonna think about her yeah okay yeah and when you have the good feeling marbles in your bag when you think about her you're in concert with your inner being who's in concert with her inner being and all the inner beings in her vicinity and now there's a gestalt of uplifting energies all helping this person and if you don't care who gets the credit you can do a whole lot of good yeah thank you really good really good <laughs>